Hello and welcome to Behind the Scene. Today on our show we will be having special guest appearances from Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, and William Shakespeare. And featuring the Renaissance Band and my top ten list. Let's get on with the show and we would like to welcome our first guest today, Leonardo da Vinci! Ooh. Come on, he's a Renaissance yeah. Band! So I heard you're designing a flying machine. How's your research, and do you have a design? Well, yes, I have a design. I've been researching on some birds and bats, how they fly with their, the wings, and well, I'm gonna put that on this machine, and a human is supposed to go in there and kind of flap like a bird. Yes. So they'll fly like a bird. Yes. Okay. Yep. Sounds fine to me. I don't know. Um, so, and you were just commissioned by um, Chesa and I Borgia as an artist and an engineer, and you're telling them about how you can do so many amazing things and stuff, and so I hear about this armored car tank thing. What is this armored car? Well, first of all, what's a car? Uh, it's an armored car, and in there, there would be people in there to move it, and they're using cranks, which... It's pretty much you move it to turn make it. the yes to make and the wheels actually move. So the winds, the wheels turn and it goes forward. Yes. And so why is it is it was it used for military stuff? Well, that's what he would like it to be. Okay. So will it have like guns all, all around? It? Cannons around the yes, just, just around, around it, it all the way around. Okay. Um. So I heard it's you. Mo a lot of your inventions are influenced by animals. What animal influenced this? Well, this is about a turtle. So it's like a shell of a turtle. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Well, I've been looking at your design. I don't know where I got it from. Inside sources. Uh, and it looks like I don't think this is gonna work at all. I mean, the the, the way the we gears are put, it's gonna be the the it's gonna be turning the wheels like this, and well. I just don't think it's going to work, and I'm just dumb, and I can't read, but this just doesn't look like it's going to work. Idiot! It's for security! Oh, they're on to me! Okay, he's leaving. Yes, um, okay, well, let's welcome our, um, artist today, um, Leonardo Vinci! He's back! Oh, yes! I missed you! Hi. You forgot for 30 seconds. Long time no see. Yes, uh, all right. So, I have some more questions for you. Um, uh, I hear you're painting this thing called The Last Supper, about Jesus' Last Supper with the Twelve Apostles. Can you tell me about that? Shh! He'll hear you! Uh, who? God! Ah. Why? It was supposed to be a surprise. Ah. Uh, just calm down, calm down, calm down. He'll, he'll be happy. He'll be happy. Okay. Well, okay, let's do, let's let's get off that subject. How about the Mona Lisa? Well, well, I have a question. Why doesn't she have any eyebrows? Well, back then that was the fashion. So, when did you paint this? Like early 1500? Yes. Yeah. Well, so should we all shave our eyebrows now? Yes. Are you trying to make this modern now? The latest fash fashion. Yeah, shave our eyebrows. All right, well, thank you. Thank you, Leo. Oh, well that's right. You're lefty. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, let's give him some applause, people. Come on, yeah. We love you. He's leaving now. All right. Yeah. Well, we'll be back after these messages. Well, here is my top ten list with John Henderson. Number ten on why the Renaissance will go down in history as a great age. Number ten. If you have the craving for Chinese food, you can go to China. <laughs> Everyone's happy. Number nine. Everyone's happy. Just look at Mona Lisa. <laughs> Number eight. Words like thou and half make you sound smart. <laughs> Number I should start using those. Number seven. Cannons. <laughs> Number six. People can fly. I can't Num even do that now. Number five. Some guy named Albert appeared in Germany and claimed the future. E equals MC squared. Oh! <laughs> the Earth rotates around the sun. Really? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I didn't believe it either. 
You could sail west and go east. I don't know. Neither do I. I'm not Christopher Columbus. Neither am I. I. I wish I was, though. Martin Luther changed the world and made all the religions unequal. What? <laughs> and number one, the fashion is awesome. Just check it out this guy.